of the headquarters club is hot. Hey, what's going on? What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Mr. His Hop, coming at you once again from the headquarters. This is His Hop Radio, Las Vegas. We're not far from the strip, but we outshine every light on that strip and in Vegas because we shine a light of Christ, y'all. That's what we love to do. Uh, we started off as a club hip hop uh, ministry back in 2012, and now we're on the radio network. We're podcasting. And we're doing this thing. And so it is my pleasure, actually, to let y'all know that I'm not rocking solo today, y'all. You know, I have uh, an amazing co-host that I want to bring online. I want to uh, let y'all know that she's been rocking with me. You know, she's kind of new to the to the podcast thing. So everyone... Let's say what's up to Desiree. Desiree, what's going on with you? What's up? How y'all doing today? We're so glad y'all tuning in. What's up, His Hop Nation? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see something a little new about you today. I see that uh, <laughs> you done, um, done hooked it up. <laughs> Look, we chopped it off, baby. We done chopped this thing off. But you know what? I'm rocking with it because I feel like in this season, I cut my hair, but I also had to cut other things out of my life that were hindering me too, right? So this is a refresh, the outside appearance and the inside, okay? So sometimes you gotta chop it off, okay? <laughs> Come on, we gotta do that sometimes. You know, we have to, we have to have the courage to, and yeah, that's, that's something that's something the Lord has been uh, dealing with me. Actually, this, this, this morning, the Lord has been dealing with me with this this issue. There's people sometimes that are in your life that you have to have the courage to chop off, right? Yes. Because they can bring you into a lukewarm state. You know what I mean? They could hinder your walk with God. So sometimes it's either people or it's things, you know what I mean? It could be uh, pursuing a career, pleasure, anything right. that will try to master you. You know what I'm saying? It's like you got to like the Lord was telling me that this morning. Now, look at you. Come on. Well, I, see, this wasn't even planned. This was just. Uh, what you say? <laughs> <laughs> but God knows and he also knows what we need in the season and the time that we need it. I think a lot of us and I'm speaking to you online. Some of us have to chop some things off. Some of us have to cut some things back and put them in their proper perspective and place. Right. And yes. some stuff we just need to go all together. Right, because it's hindering us in our relationship and our walk with Christ, and also it's hindering us from growing into the person that He's called us to be. So, if you're holding on to something, whether it's um, unforgiveness, whether it's um, um, a sexual immoral spirit, whether it's a lying tongue, whether it's a hurt and pain that you've experienced and somebody has inflicted upon you, you know, or hurt and pain that you've inflicted upon somebody else. Like today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to let it go and chop that thing off. Um, and some stuff, you know, especially like with marriages, children, um, jobs, and and things, we just have to put it in its proper perspective, right? Doesn't mean that God says I'm gonna take it away, but if you try to put it above Him, He's gonna take that thing away from you. And we definitely don't want that to happen, right? And we just want to put it and align it with God's perfect will and not His permissive. But anyways, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna preach today. I <laughs> uh, tell you what, man, somebody needed to hear that, and that was a, a truth bomb right there. You hit an explosion. I'm gonna have to get an explosion sound effect. You know, whenever you you hit those truth bombs on the podcast. Oh man, I, I, hey, that ministered to me. Somebody needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. You know, say so God is good, and and I just want to say that we are living so close to the return of jesus man like we gotta lay aside every weight like every distraction we really gotta be focused in this season i believe i believe we have an assignment we have something to do and then we're gonna be getting out of here soon you know and so so that's the thing okay all right well today we have a guest we have a this will be the first guest that we're actually interviewing together first artist uh ministry 
we have guests. I need to make a theme song so I can sing it before the guests come on. Come on. working on it. Come on, come on. Theme song, come on. Desiree, national. Did I mention she's a national recording artist as well? And also, real quick, you're. we have to vote for you. Comment section somewhere, somewhere in, on this video. We're going to put it in there. Y'all can vote. We need all the votes you can get. Come on, come on. Support. Support, support, support. Definitely, we're going to be voting and, and, and we're going to be riding for you over here on the Hits Out Nation. So. Thank you so much. All right, <laughs> now we're going to. His Hop Nation always in his life. So we're right here on the His Hop Radio Network. You are listening to the light of Las Vegas. This is the His Hop Radio Show. Yeah. That even in your in your in your, in your, in your uh, flesh, that he's in control. Even when you do fall, even when you do slip up, even you know when you do make mistakes um, or poor decisions, baby. Where who are you running to? To your friends, to social media, to a job? I mean, who are you running to? Is he really Lord? Are you running to him first to talk about him, or are you going to everything else? Anyway, Hallelujah. all right. So Come on, come on. That's good. That's some good stuff. Good stuff right there. All right, uh, we got you in the hot seat now, uh, Apostle John. So tell us everything that you're involved with, maybe not everything, but the main things you're involved in, you know, a little bit about your background, and um, and then we'll get into your next song that you got currently out. But tell us a little bit about what you got going over there. All right, we'll we'll keep it to the short version because this is just a 30-minute podcast. So we will keep it to a short version of of what's been going on with me. But basically, I am the creator and host of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International. They work hand in hand. And we thank God because out of rebirth that was my one of my first assignments was to begin that radio ministry and the lord has grown that ministry tremendously the lord uh with lord um lord have mercy i didn't i didn't forgot the name of my podcast lord jesus let's but talk to anyway, the lord Let's talk to the Lord. Thank you, Gospel Amen. Radio Talk Show. And it is available for you to hear. We are live or pre-recorded live on His Hop Radio every every Sunday. And I believe it is at 2 o'clock Central, 12 o'clock uh, Pacific time we're on. Yes. If you want to download copies, you can go to speaker.com, www.speaker.com. Don't forget the apostrophe and let's. We are on iHeartRadio. You can search us out on the iHeartRadio app. We are on Roku, and the radio station is now on Roku. You used to have to go to the MyTuner application to uh, get to the radio station. Now you can go to Roku and just put in Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Bam, we're there. We're on several radio stations throughout the country. The Lord is blessing that ministry. We are almost at 500 episodes, getting ready to end season eight, getting ready to start season nine. And the Lord has blessed that podcast. Souls have come to the Lord. People have been encouraged. And uh, that's our main radio ministry. Let's talk to the Lord. Come on, come on, and you know what? That's that's nothing to sneeze at. I, I have to say, uh, rocking with you over the years, uh, Apostle John. I've seen some great, influential guests that you have talked to yes. on your show, like we, you know, some big names as well as you. You talk to the independent artists as well. You know, you don't yes. judge anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, and I've met some people through through you. You've introduced me to some people as well. So. So it's been it's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. 
Let's talk to the law. We're going to have Desiree on so we can feature Desiree on Let's Talk to the Law. I'm telling you. Yes, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. I would love to be a part. Uh, it sounds like it's, it's just a god driven uh, show. Um, baby, I look for Christ in anything, okay? So if Christ is there, and we talk, we the title is Let's Talk to the Lord. Woo, baby, let's talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. No, no one better to talk to. Come on. <laughs> That's the best one, you know. And so, I, I love, I love that um, that God has allowed you um, almost nine uh, seasons of of yes. the podcast, which is. Um, and I pray that He gives you hundred episodes, brother Sam. Five hundred. We're coming up on five hundred. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Now, listen. Yeah. Let's get into this song now. Okay. I'm excited because I love I love music and I love ministry. So can we go ahead and jump into it, Sam? Yeah, yeah. This song is called Awesome God. This is his latest release, and we know that God is awesome. And myself personally, I've been able to, you know, if I can't sit down and just get into God's presence and worship and just uh just reminisce on how great God is and stuff like that, it doesn't get on my playlist. But I'm going to tell you that this song takes you there. This song takes you there. So, so Apostle, tell us about Awesome God. Awesome God featuring Sheree from Los Angeles, California, and Mitchell Johnson and Rehoboth out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We are in pre-orders right now as we speak. You can go to Amazon and pre-order the album. Apple Music is is moving just a little bit slow. I'm not sure why Apple Music is taking so long to get this up in the store for pre-orders, but we are in pre-orders. If you want to pre-order, you can go to Amazon right now to pre-order. We are releasing next week, March 28th. We will be released in all digital stores worldwide. Awesome. God, written by Apostle John E. Ross, featuring Sheree and Mitchell Johnson and Rehoba. You are listening to the light of Las Vegas. This is the His Hop Radio Show.
Come on. <laughs> Low rank. Lee, we're talking about an awesome guy. You hear me? And even just the words awesome guy, but how you describe the awesome guy. You know, in you yeah. just name. Baby, I look. I love it. I'm going to go ahead and pre-order is what I'm about to do. And then the, the lady that's leading, baby, she felt that in her soul. Mm. Mm. Yes, um, Lord. Mm. Come on. Yes, Lord. Of the spirit, I feel. Woo. Okay. Come on. All right. I, I, I quit saying I'm, I'm done for the day. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. It takes you, it takes you right there in uh man, it just reminds hey. me, you know, it reminds me how inadequate I am because first of all, you said that he is our defender. He is our yeah. de like how awesome has he been in my life? I mean, the Lord came into my life when I was 15 years old, y'all, when I was young. And I'm yeah. like, I'm nowhere near I need to be. It's like God, you've been so good and you've poured so much into our relationship. Like I, I should be further along. Like that that brings you know, it brings tears to my eyes because God has been so good. He saved me from so many situations. You know what I mean? He saved me from getting fired from my job. He saved me from accidents and gunshots yeah. and different things like that and bad relationships. Like God you are an awesome God, and it just makes me want to come up on the type of son or the way I have been treating him. You know what I mean? So that's what the yeah. song does for me. So what was your purpose? What was the vision behind writing this song, Apostle? Awesome God is a song of worship and praise and adoration to our God for who he is. Adoration is a strong emotion and regard for God. So this song is a worship song and is unique because it's a worship song for a choir. It can be sung by anyone, but its essence was written for choirs and ensembles. So Kingdom, I want the listeners who love God to worship God as they are listening. Worship God for who he is and all he has done. And if you have a request or a need, please articulate that need to God as the song is playing. And I agree in prayer with you that every need will be met in Yeshua, Jesus' mighty name. And I decree and declare you will be blessed. Hallelujah. Our Come God on. is awesome. Words cannot describe his awesomeness, nor the monstrosity yeah. of his capacity. His very essence is infinite, mm. meaning limitless or endless in space. It is impossible mm. to measure or calculate the infinite mercies of God. His sovereignty, meaning his supreme power and authority, creator of all things and everything. He's almighty. He's omnipotent mm. because he is complete power over everything. He is omniscient, meaning all seeing and all knowing. Mm. And he's omnipresent, meaning everywhere at the same time. He's eternal, which means he exists forever. Our God is immortal, living and never die. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man, right. that's a praise right there, man. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. You are so amazing and so awesome. And and here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. And as you were saying that, I was just thinking about all the people who don't know him and they don't know how awesome he is. Like, we got to get past ourselves. Like, yeah. we think we awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. We yeah. think we're all that. You know they what I'm saying? We think we deserve the spotlight. But once we humble ourselves... <laughs> and we really realize and recognize this awesome and great mighty God that we serve yes, or Lord. if you don't serve him the God that you gotta reckon with one day mm. Oh, that's right. mm, I'd rather serve him now <laughs> <laughs> alright man Woo. that's good that's powerful 
Man, I tell you, I <laughs> I had to fight to get this song recorded and complete. This song was a song I was actually wanting to do when I recorded Lord Give Me Another Chance and the Lord brought me a Tamara. So I thought, okay, Tamara, but the Lord said, do Lord Give Me Another Chance. And I was like, well, I want to do Awesome God. And so I thought, I said, I know what I'm doing. I'm, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do Lord Give Me Another Chance. And then I'm going to go back and, and ask Tamara to produce Awesome God. Well, Tamara passed away. And so mm. the, the that day that LaShun Pace Rhodes passed away, just hours between each other, she passed away. And so I was stuck thinking, okay, Lord, how am I going to be able to bring this together? And it took several more years, but I tell you, when we were in the timing of God, being led by God, he brought me to the lead and he brought me to the background. And um, I just believe that folks are just gonna be blessed once they purchase this EP. Amen, amen, I agree with you, I agree with you. Apostle, man, you've been consistent, you've been faithful. I just want to say that I appreciate your ministry. I appreciate your spirit and your heart and your love for the Lord. You know what I mean? That's the main thing, man. And it's it's uh, refreshing and it's, it's it's inspiring, you know. You're you're helping a lot of people and a lot of people are going to get to heaven because of the work you're doing now because of your faithfulness. So, I just That's wanted to cool. give you your flowers, my brother. Thank you. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Amen. Amen. So right now we're going to ask you, how can people contact you? Uh, first of all, obviously, you're letting everyone know that you write music. You are a writer. So is that yeah. a service that you offer if someone wanted you to write them a song? Is that yeah. something that they can do? And then if we wanted to write either a rap song or, uh, or my sister yeah. Desiree, she's more of a worship. Uh, she does some hip hop too, but you know, she's kind of like our rhythm and praise artist. Uh, what style yeah. do you write or do you just write for choirs and, and stuff like that? Man, I write by God's anointing. The Holy Spirit just downloads. And, and when I'm when I'm writing for like a project, I go to God in prayer and say, okay, Lord, I need some material for this project. So I need, and I don't want to just put out anything that comes from John. I want to release what comes from God. Come on. So I ask the Lord specifically when I'm writing for that. And then I have pen, paper, and recording device ready expecting receiving ears inclined to hear from the lord so the lord has just blessed me basically to write in just about all the genres we can write for choirs we can write for hip-hop we can write for groups we can write church music we can write um you know just about in uh, contemporary gospel and we have some more good stuff on the horizon so keep your ears open so if we're gonna pray that, that we that the lord will give us grace and that sometime toward the end of this year another new ep will be on the horizon amen all right oh, that's good listen sir i'm ready I don't, I don't know about y'all. I need if y'all not ready. How many glowing? John Ross for Apostle John E. Ross. We have me on the call. Us two.